Hi, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is Dane, and I'm doing a bit of a different reading for you. Not just that we're doing all the Water Sign Energies, but we're also doing the Celtic Festival or the Celtic Holiday of Imbolc, which is the halfway point between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. And it falls on February 1st, 2024. This is a time of renewal and new beginnings. So I'm excited to bring this reading to you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it helps this channel be seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so very much for doing so. Let's see what the tarot has to say. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. We have the Lovers reversed. We have the Sun reversed, Angels, and Spirit Guides. Show me clearly. Oh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, I like this reading a lot, a lot for you guys. Listen, right here, love, it's on pause. Just know that, accept it, move forward. <laughs> That's going to be the best way to deal with this time, okay? This, on pause. Are you going to find a love that rocks your socks? Absolutely. Are If you're in a relationship, is your relationship going to become stronger and more balanced and what you want? Yes, okay? Yes. Now, if it's toxic, leave. Always, if it's toxic, if it's toxic, if you are feeling like you're shrinking away as if you've lost yourself or losing yourself, that is something then that, you know, don't sit there and say, oh, well, I have the sun and the lovers reverse. Like, it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. I just have to wait. How long are you willing to wait? Okay. If you know in your heart, it's not fine. Okay. So just be mindful about this. So that just has to be said because somebody needs to hear it. I know that somebody's sitting there and they're thinking, I just need to hold on longer. Right. You've held on a really long time already. So just be aware of that. With the sun reversed, there's just happiness coming in because you could be holding on to this relationship. Okay, for that person who's holding on, it's like, it'll get better, it'll get better. And you can miss the person who your soul is supposed to be with because you're waiting for somebody else to become what they'll never be. And again, you know it, you know it. The sun is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. It's vibrant, it's, it's love, it's beauty, it's success. It's, it's like, okay, okay, I get to shine. The lovers, it's also Gemini energy. So you might be having a bit of difficulty with a Gemini, a time frame May 21st to June 20th. That might be a little bit of a tricky wicked time frame, or you're not seeing things move as quickly as you want to. But you have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is God's source spirit. However, you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of wealth, prosperity, and success. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is you taking that gift and moving forward in bounty, in abundance, success, and prosperity. So it's like, you're going to be prosperous. Yeah. And then the love will come. It's like, once you have yourself on track, where it's with the money, where it's with what you value as much as money, and you start to see that fall into order, then this comes in. This comes in. And I see it surrounded in yellow. So I don't know if the person that you are supposed to meet or, you know, the connection you're supposed to have, like if the person's wearing yellow or, or if yellow is their favorite color or it's like a bright, shiny day, you know, type of thing. But I see it surrounded in yellow. So just be, that's just interesting. If you see auras, their aura might be yellow. I don't know what that means, but that would be interesting. But also know right now, like a lot of the loves that come in, they don't feel blessed. They don't feel, they don't feel right. You might try to be making something fit. It's kind of like Cinderella's, you know, stepsisters. They tried to make their foot fit and it just didn't. And in the, I think it's Hans Christian Anderson, right? In the Hans Christian Anderson books, they were just, they, 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 they chopped off, they mutilated themselves to try and get the foot to fit into the slipper. And it's like, don't mutilate your soul in order to, to get something to fit that just isn't right. So just, just be aware of this during this time. The Ace of Wands is reverse. This is God's source spirit. However, you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift of passion, of, of fire, determination, focus, you know, that, that energy. It's reverse. We're not, we're kind of going to be all over the place just a little bit. It'll be very easy for us to get, you know, out of focus, out of alignment with ourselves during this time. Just be mindful about it so we can rein ourselves back in. But what we're going to try and do is be super, super strict with ourselves. And that's not going to work either. You need to have a nice balance. So let's talk a little bit about this day. Let's actually talk about Imbolc. Imbolc is the Celtic holiday and it, it, and it honors the goddess Bridget. Now, the goddess Bridget, I find very, very excited. Now, I was a medieval history major, mainly focusing in Celtic mythology. And so Bridget was right up my alley. And I did study her a bit. So Bridget 
St. Bridget is just cool. She's just cool. So when early Christianity came came to the world, right, what they were told in their prophetizing was take the pagan religions, make their gods your gods, you know, make make their gods your saints, right? Take their holy places, make them your holy places, build churches, build, you know, holy places. And that was a very, you know, interesting and well, good, you know, conquering method. But the thing with Bridget was that St. Bridget, goddess Bridget, she was so powerful in the Celtic world that her story of becoming a saint is, is very, very different because usually it's just a saint story is, is usually very, very sad. And Bridget's story isn't. So St. Bridget was, well, yeah, was a maiden, right? And she was a wealthy maiden and she was supposed to be married to this chieftain to, I don't know, Greek, um, not Greek, but Roman or, or Celtic, I can't remember. She, but she was supposed to be married to a very wealthy person. And she said, no, I want to become a nun. I want to go to a nunnery. And her father said, absolutely not. You know, you're going to be in this marriage. You're going to do this. This is what you, you are going to do. And that's that. So she prayed and she prayed and God put a boil on her face. And she went from being the most beautiful woman in the land to being the most hideous. Now, also in Celtic mythology, now, whether you agree with this or not is well, irrelevant because it's the way the stories go, but any sort of mutilation was just absolutely horrendous to the ancient cults. Like you couldn't rule the ancient Celtic world if you like, there was one great chieftain who lost a hand and he couldn't rule it yet. Like the fairies made him want a hand, you know, out of silver or gold. I can't remember. I think it was gold. And, and he, he still, he couldn't just accept that his hand was, was gone, but it was back. So it was a whole thing. So she had a boil on her face and that's huge in the Celtic world, right? Here's a goddess, a woman who was a goddess who now is disfigured. So Bridget says to her father, like, you know, well, do I have to marry him now? And her father looks at him. She's, he's like, no man is going to want you. You know, you're just going to eat up all my money and take up all my time. Go, go to that nunnery you've been wanting to go to and let them pay for your existence. So she goes. And then the boil disappears. As soon as she takes her vows, the boil disappears. And she's again, one of the most radiant people on earth. And that is St. Bridget, one of the most radiant goddesses. She's a goddess a poetry and fertility and a healing. The saint, through, well, of course, God, healed herself. And she's also associated with fire. So this is going to be a time where, where passion is high. The sun is here, right? We can feel that fire pulling us forward, leading us forward. But we're going to see it in a very different way than we have before. It was all encompassing before, but now it's going to be much more handheld, much more you know, finite, much more, what can I pull down and take out of my fire, out of my passion, out of my desire? It's going to be love, but it's going to be tempered. Love reversed is also lust. Be very mindful of getting caught up in the lust of things, okay? Because that will knock you off course. Stay down to earth. Stay centered. Embrace what you love. Water sign energy just goes with love, goes with love, goes with love, right? Goes with emotions. Keep that love balanced. Keep that love centered. That is going to be sacredly important during this time, grounding, connecting with the earth, grounding yourself, connecting with sleep, connecting with dreams. Okay. You're going to see yourself grounded. You're going to move forward. It's going to be slow go. It's not going to be instantaneous. We want everything like an Amazon delivery package, right? When you have prime and it's next day delivery, it's not going to be that it's going to be slower. It's going to be snail mail. All right. And that's okay. It's okay. Waiting for something is okay. We should have to do it more often as somebody who is impatient says this. And I sincerely believe it. We are going to have to wait more often. You know that saying, good things come to those who wait. You're building up something. You feel left behind. You feel forgotten. You feel like the sun will never shine. The day will never come forward. Things will never come the way that they were supposed to. That is not true. They are not coming the way that you had imagined them, but that's okay. This isn't about your timing. It's divine timing that's leading you forward. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is luminous and hope reverse. Okay, so I can't remember who else. I think earth sign energy got hope reverse. So just be mindful about that, especially if you have earth sign energy in your chart, because there's just a, a really intense feeling of hopelessness. And I don't like that. I don't like hopelessness at all 
Because remember, the only thing that was left when Pandora, ooh, I'm sorry, I just hit my mic, when Pandora released all of chaos onto the world was hope. We need hope. Hope guides us. Hope, hope gives us the, the ability to wake up the next day. So focusing on the color green, if you can, if you can dress in green, if you can, you know, have green around you, that would be really, really, really beneficial because the color green is going to, to help you heal, but also help you connect with your heart, with what you love. And also focusing on your voice, the throat chakra is going to be very big as well. Luminous, luminous, letting yourself shine. Luminous, not as brightly as the sun, right? The sun is radiance. The moon is luminous. That, that quieter energy of the moon is going to be guiding us forward quite beautifully during this time, okay? but also that quiet energy of ourselves. We're going to think, oh, I have to be, you know, I'm just hearing Rocket Man for some reason, Elton John's Rocket Man. Yeah, it's like, I have to be like that. I have to be in the middle of everything, but it's, it's calmer, it's gentler, it's quieter. And it means just as much, if not more. Our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. So here we have rebirth reversed and we have love. So not falling into loss, super important. But here with the heart chakra, embracing love, embracing what we love and moving that forward. We have the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet, which is rebirth. We're being transformed. Are we connecting with that? No, we're having a bit of a hard time following our passion, like finding our passion. We can be either discounting our passion saying, oh, well, that's just silly nonsense. It's like, why? Or we can also be having difficulty with like, Anger can be taking over because when fire sign energy is reversed, that it becomes anger. So just be mindful about that as well. Sorry, my elbow hurts. So just be mindful about that as well during this time that our passion is on pause, like our fire, our connection, our tenacity, our brilliance. Like we feel like I'm not able to shine. I'm not able to move forward. I feel stuck. I feel stagnant. And it's it's not forever. It's, it's just a pause. You're in a season. And the season will teach you something. You might not want to be learning it, but you know what? Divinity really doesn't care. We need to ground ourselves and we need to know that we are transforming. And that transformation is going to lead us forward in an exquisite way, in a powerful way. It moves us then to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. Not subconscious, but our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. And this is the two of pentacles. We're not going to be good at balancing a whole bunch of things. We're just not. Are we going to have to? Yeah, we're going to have to balance X, Y, Z. Like we can't just do one thing and then one thing and then one thing and then one thing. We're going to have our attention pulled. But the two of pentacles is like, okay, be mindful. Be mindful in taking on too much. Be mindful also that the emotions that somebody presents to you, like, oh, I'm, I'm cool with this. Yeah, that's great type of thing is not actually the emotions they feel. And that's going to knock you for a loop. So just be aware of this during this time as well. Okay. Yeah. But the sun is like, you're asking a question. Okay. There's a question that you came here with. And the answer is yes, but it's like, it's some pause. So just be aware of this during this time. The answer is yes, but it's on pause. Okay. So let's see our subconscious message. Now, if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a heart in the comment box below person will be chosen at random and announced on the 1st of March, which is wild. This is wild that I'm saying March right now. So good luck to everyone. Do not be scammed by anybody contacting you in the comment box. It will not be me. The winner will be announced through a completely separate video. So keep your eyes open for that. Okay. Oh, and if you're interested in purchasing a private reading, a private personalized meditation or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. So our subconscious spirit message is peace. We need peace. As water sign energies, we really need peace. And we kind of don't prioritize that because we think it's silly. We think our emotions are silly sometimes. We just feel too much. We're too emotional. We're too this. We're too that. Why not see your heart as a superpower? The way that you connect is just brilliant. It's beautiful. And it can knock everybody else out of the water. Embrace it. Embrace your heart. Embrace peace. Embrace moving forward. And, you know, sit in quiet as much as you don't want to do that sit in quiet, connect with peace, calm things down. We have noise in our ears all the time. And I know for me personally, and I'm just seeing this come through where spirit is calling me out, which I think is rude, but the more stress I get, 
like the more I find myself on YouTube, right? The more I find myself listening to things, the more I find myself being distracted, the less I find myself connecting with me. And spirits like find your peace, embrace the quiet. In a world that is demanding our attention, when, you know, the heads of social media actually say we are, we are fighting, what is it? Our biggest loss of revenue is sleep. Like for that to be a statement, our biggest loss of revenue is sleep. I want to make everything so addictive that you won't even go to sleep anymore. You'll just be scrolling mindlessly on your phone, becoming an automaton. That's disgusting. I mean, that's, that's gross. Seriously. So here, find peace. Kind of, like, you know, take everybody else off <laughs> while doing so. I kind of like that idea. Our subconscious chakra message is nurture, reverse. This is the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet. We're not connected to, to the earth and we need to be in order to move forward in prosperity. That earth sign energy. You know, it's also, we're greatly connected with that. So if we have earth sign energy in our chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we're going to see that we're moving sets we're moving forward slowly, steadily, methodically towards our goals, towards what we desire. But we need to nurture ourselves. We need to connect. And that's going to be a very, very, very important thing. And we're not. Oh, did I? No, I don't think I did. So I forgot completely to tell you the crystals and the herbs for, for Imbolc. So on Imbolc, if you, if you want to carry a crystal with you or, you know, have it on, on your jewelry, amethyst is for calming it is for protection it is for clarity and it is to to set our intention so amethyst is great I have amethyst right here actually um then we have moonstone for soothing and for nurturing we have granite we have garnet not granite garnet for passion and and fertility we have quartz for purifying and amplifying and we have citrine for abundance and prosperity now the herbs which i have actually made a sauce out of not there's lavender in there. Don't put lavender in the sauce, okay? <laughs> just, just putting that out there. But you can make a sauce or a stew with the herbs. There's bay for success. There's basil for love, prosperity, and protection. There's sage for wisdom, purifying, and protection, as well as for memory. There's lavender for calm and relaxation. Now, I just put some lavender herbs in some water, so have a lavender-infused water. And then rosemary for memory, purification, and, and protection as well. And I also like ro rosemary infused water. That's very, very nice. Okay. So we did the chakra energy. Now let's do the energy to be mindful of. And we have the queen of pentacles. So as much as we have that, that prosperous, you know, pentacles energy moving forward, we need to be mindful of energy that we just don't vibe with. If we don't vibe with it, we don't vibe with it. Like, that's okay. That's okay. We don't have to get on with everyone and everything. There, there's also a sense of what is our call of prosperity? What does prosperity look like to us? Are we trying to become something that we're not? Are we trying to kind of wear a mask and say, oh, this is what it is? And does it just feel like a paramime? Is that a right word? Yeah, does it just feel like an act, a puppet show? Look at your success. Look at what is bountiful and beautiful and illustrious to you and move forward in it. Move forward in it in, in determination and insight. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message which is strength you're stronger than you think you are isn't that winnie the pooh oh, i love winnie the pooh so much you're stronger than you know so here this strength is also leo energy you're also going to see the most interesting of, of combinations come forward during this time like the most interesting of allies for you come forward the most interesting of, of pathways open up things that you you hadn't imagined you're going to see excuse me i'm going to cough <coughs> Oh, I do apologize. You're going to see almost the impossible set before you. And you're going to see the conquering of those, those impossibilities. And it can't even be that you see like your life path. You had this adversity, that adversity. And you see yourself move forward in the most extraordinary way. So just be aware of this. Be aware of strength. Be aware also of really connecting with Leo energy. Excuse me as I cough again. <coughs> just going to take a sip of water. All right. Huh. All right, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe.
Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please know that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And have a blessed in bulk. Bye.